All right, here we go. Um, what we're going to talk about right now is we want to talk about our file naming conventions. Uh, what you see here on this Word document is an example of the file naming conventions that we're going to use. Let me enlarge that some. There we go. And basically what they stand for, now in, in AutoCAD there are file naming standards uh, for any CAD file uh, that are internationally recognized. So wherever you send your document, someone can look at it and tell uh, what the document is. This particular uh, file naming convention tells me that this is a floor plan. That's what FP stands for. There are others like EP, which equals electrical plan. And yeah, that should be capital. Um, SP equals site plan and on and on and on and on um, there's so it's basically two capital letters to first designate what type of file it is um, and then of course after that is just you know regular naming stuff um, this particular file is going to be or the way we're going to name ours is once you type the fp for floor plan which that's the first one we're going to work with is a floor plan Later, when we get into other types of plans, like electrical plans, blah, 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 then we will rename uh, different files. It's like an EP and then whatever else. But basically, FP for floor plan, dash fuller, dash the year 2017, dash, now I put here three, but I'm just going to put a T for myself, for teacher. Um, so what, whatever uh, class period you're in, I have two class periods. I got a second period. Oops. Second, try that again, dash two for second period, dash five for fifth period, okay? Uh, and that will help you locate your files. It'll keep you from getting in a hurry and closing your system down so that you can get out of class and get to your next class on time while forgetting to save your file and, and name it. And then you come back the next day and you have no idea where it is. Okay, so that's the first thing we do is we name the file when we open it. Uh, I'll demonstrate for you. And another thing we want to do as well, I'll show you that. Um, let's say I'm getting ready to create this particular file here. Um, one of the first stops I want to make before I do this is I want to have a project folder. Go down here to your file manager or file explorer. Click on it. Navigate to documents. Okay. And in documents, you want to create a folder. And you simply do that by new folder. And you can simply just call it my house plans. The folder name is really not important here. Um, only the actual plan name is. Um, so I have that folder of my house plans. And I've created it, I've saved it. I can close this. Now, going back to my CAD, uh, what I want to do to start with and uh, never mind my screen there but I want to start a new file there's a little square icon right here click and the only file that I'm worried about creating right now is ACAD or the only template I want to use is ACAD uh, that's the only one we're going to use at the moment it's just a straight up straightforward uh, AutoCAD file here's where my naming convention comes in well actually first I got to open it Okay, now I'm open, and of course it still has the default drawing number two or whatever, drawing three, four, whatever. Um, so I'll go over here to the save button right here, click on that, and I want to select the folder, my house plans, and I'm going to name it FP dash, my last name. Uh, and of course, I've already named one that, so it's already popping up there dash 2017 and then dash whatever my class period or myself I'm the teacher and I save okay here we go so now I, I can look up here and see that I'm in that particular file also shows the location of it. it's uh, the C drive users myself and my folder documents and then FP fuller for floor plan fuller 2017 T um, so there, that's it. That's how you name a file. That's uh, from here. You just get started working, working on your design, and any subsequent files that you create for this same project.
goes in that same folder folder that you uh, created it first there. Uh, so like my uh, house plans or what have, have you, or you know, whatever you want to name your your house folder, your house plan folder. Uh, all the files associated with it would go into that same folder, so you'll always know where they're located at, and you could also send them off or print them off or whatever at a moment's notice without having to look through your computer to try and find where it's at. That's all I've got on there. Next uh, video, I think, uh, next video we're going to be going to actually do some drawing. Um, there may be one other instructional thing at hand. All right. There we go.